Welcome back to another episode of Saving Grace. Today, mm -hmm. I've got my winner of Love Island on the pod. It's Whitney, darling. Hello. That was hey, me clapping. Oh. Hey. <laughs> me hey. <doing> some <laughs> <music>. <laughs> hey. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm buzzing that you're here. Bang. I want you to know, I watched your season religiously and <laughs> nearly punched TVs multiple times. Not because oh, of you. Oh, then why? <laughs> Because of me. Yeah. <laughs> Not because of you. <laughs> I loved it. How did you find the season? Um, well, living it, it was great. Towards yeah. the end, it was definitely like draining. It was a lot. Yeah. It was a lot. They squeezed every bit of content out. Did but. they uh, scout you or did you sign up? Um, I got a DM nice. from, I don't know if I can say his name. Could, yeah. uh, maybe not say his name. Okay, I got a DM yeah. from ITV casting mm -hmm. and then I actually responded like a year later. Oh. And yeah, literally <laughs> I was like, fuck it, let me just reply. Yeah. And then... I was it called applied mm -hmm. and yeah, I got the call four days later. Yeah. And then I was out like three weeks later. You were later. flown out. Yeah. We flew out. Up. Period. Flew that. <laughs> <laughs> so you go in there. What did you think of the selection of men to start with? Um, looks wise, mm. initially I went in top three. Um, obviously it was Medi, yeah. Ty and Andre. You know, I was shocked that you, we were all shocked that you went for Medi. Why? I just do, I don't know why, but I just never saw you two together. But you know what? For me, I kept saying that if I'm gonna go on Love Island, yeah, I'm gonna go gonna on. And, some, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm gonna find yeah. something different. Yeah, I'm not gonna go for the huge. Do you know what I mean? I've got that at home. I'm not mm -hmm. gonna go for what I have yeah. at home. That's what I will say to all the boys, like all, like, all the. Can I say black boys? Of course you can. All the black boys, I'll be like, <laughs> you know, you're home. Like, I was going on there to find something different. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? And you and did. Yeah, I did. And we fucking love that. Oh. I'm here for it. I want to, we'll go back and forth, but the reunion, yeah. when you saw Medi again. Yeah. Your answer. <laughs> when you went, I don't care. Do I you, didn't feel like that was savage. That was, it was incredible to watch. It felt savage. <laughs> it felt savage. We were like, oh. I feel like it felt savage because everyone else was filtered. Oh, but everyone was like pussyfooting around yeah, the houses there. Oh, hundred percent. I don't feel like it was. I don't. I don't care. It's not savage. Yeah, I've said worse. I bet you have. Do I, I love mean? that. Like, <laughs> have you had to speak to him since or not? No. Like even like a. So you're around. I don't no, know. No, I've what seen you're him. We all went out after the reunion. Did you? Yeah, we went to. Was it tape? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. Oh, no. there. And it's cool. Like when I see him, it's yeah. him, him and Locke in the call. So, um, <laughs> I, like, is it weird seeing everyone out of the villa after? I've actually only seen Catherine all the time. Like that's my genius. That makes sense. Like, you know what I mean? I love Kat. I've seen <laughs> Ella. Yeah, of course. I've seen, um, obviously Ty mm -hmm. and obviously Locken. Who else have I seen? Rucci. Oh my and God. And that's Rucci. it. Yeah, I love Rucci. She was done dirty, I have to say. She was really, out so quick. You know, I haven't watched it, so I don't know what you guys saw, but Ruchi was a gangster. I heard, <laughs> it, like, <laughs> yeah. like, I heard that she didn't get like what she was supposed to get, but she was a G. No, like I was like, oh, she'll probably make it into like the final few weeks, and then she was out within like the second week, and I was oh, like, damn. well, never mind. The the fault was there. No, but Ruchi's lit. She yeah, <laughs> she she's seems lit, really right? nice. She's did lit. you meet Mal? Yeah, I met Mal. you did meet. What did yeah, you think of Mal? Mal's an animation character. Fucking love Mal. Yeah, love her though. That's she's crazy. She's one of a kind. She is. She is. Yeah, she's one of a kind. I, I like Mal. Love her. So let's go through your Love Island experience. First of all, I want to talk to you about the challenges. Yeah, challenges. How'd you find that? Um, you know me. I'm just thinking <laughs> about my hair. Yeah. yeah. These don't care about my wig. Mm. I'm literally like, I can't, but then I can't get it with I have to, like you just you just forget. Yeah, I think you smashed the sexy dance challenge, I've got to say. You smashed Oh, that, that. was, come on. That was yeah, you were ready for it. <laughs> I expected nothing less. Thanks, babe. All the time. But I don't know how you do it. I feel like all the girls went in there, sexy dance challenge. Yeah, yeah, It yeah. was like everyone, Jess actually stole my drink. Because obviously you get one drink you, a night. Oh, okay. Yeah, you get one Even drink a night. that. Like Literally that. one, yeah, though I went to go get my drink. Obviously I was lost on to get with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Right. <Stop. laughs> and then it was gone. Oh. And then Jess is literally just literally doing her sexy dance, went in. But I was like, where's my drink? <laughs> it's it like, was the tipsiest. It was yeah. probably, uh, yeah. <laughs> I heard one night she got really drunk accidentally. Oh my gosh, yeah. What happened? Um, It was a long late night. It was a cat night. Mm -hmm. And then what happened was she's obviously had one drink, the right. standard drink. And then we've been able to have another one like a few okay. hours later. I think it went us, went us like out longer. Mm -hmm. And then... 
it was time to do debriefing. But in there, your alcohol tolerance goes down. Oh, of course, because you're it drinking goes down. For months. Like, yeah. So she had that second one and she was just pissed. She was drunk. <laughs> yeah. Like, do you know about PK Humble, that song? No. PK Humble, PK Humble. I, I can't say I do. Oh my, oh. I'm oh, sorry. Shock. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> I'm Caucasian. Yeah, but literally, <laughs> I don't know who came in. Andre and Ty were doing it. Like, they always did peak it humble. Yeah. yeah. So it was so funny. Then we started doing it. And then, <laughs> obviously, like, Kat got the ick yeah, when Andre course. started doing peak <laughs> yeah. It was so funny. And then in Casa, Jess was so pissed. And we we're trying to debrief. And then she was be going, peak it humble, peak it humble. Oh, my God. And Kat was God. just like... Just stop. put this girl to bed. <laughs> it was so funny. Oh like, it my was so God. funny. You have to be there to be there. Be- <laughs> like honestly. I wasn't. I it was wasn't. lit. But I got to look around your villa before you guys went in, and it is so much like it's very compact to how it mm-hmm. looks on TV, which is a bit sketch. Look, because I, I can't imagine being with that many people for that amount of time in that short, like small mm-hmm. building. I'll be honest. But I feel like um ITV know how to make things look the way they want to make things yeah, look. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, so, yeah, true. Yeah. Speaking of which, what do you think of Scott? Ask a Tisha. I love Scott. <laughs> yeah. I love Scott. Like, um, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Because him and Catherine are all right now, no? Yeah, but that's the thing. Like, Kat and Scott, they've been all right. Like, yeah. there was actually never, ever any animosity between right. them. But I feel like the way it was obviously edited, um, made it oh, seem that way it but looks quiet no like we will be on facetime really because that's Even the only when you first reason come out, we were all on facetime together what? yeah the other day like it's not that the only reason she was voted out was literally because of that yeah 100%. i know but cat was oh, like so deep okay do you know what actually happened it Tell was me. a thing where um you know the whole bag making thing yeah <laughs> Of Obviously, like the guys that you're with, they're supposed to pack sentimental things. Yeah, and then Scott didn't pack cut her bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> the necessity. Like yeah, yeah. she sleeps like every single night. He didn't pack a bonnet. Like he didn't pack her nothing. And the bonnet for us was just like damn, the like straw that broke. We all wear it every single night. Yeah, I pack the bonnet. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. But then there was like one big jump arm in there, and. Cat wore it, she went to beach her and she'll say, gas, like, Scott having this jumper. Bless. And then come out and then Katie sees her. She's like, I can't take my jumper off. <laughs> it was so No. It was so funny. It was Katie's jumper. <laughs> it's Katie's jumper. <gasps> it was so funny. Today's sponsor of the podcast is BetterHelp. It is always important to talk about your feelings or talk to someone about what is going on in your life, whether it is big or small. And that is where BetterHelp comes in. All you've got to do is fill out a form and you will be matched to a licensed therapist that you can also switch with no extra cost at any time. Having a busy schedule is no issue with BetterHelp whether you're at uni, whether you have a full-time job, whether you're a parent, it doesn't matter because BetterHelp is all online and you can do it at any given time to suit your busy schedule. I'm someone who likes to bottle things up and then wait until it all gets on top of me and have a nice little four-hour cry, but I don't have to do that anymore because I can go to BetterHelp and speak to someone and I feel like a weight has come off my shoulders once I've done it. BetterHelp also helps you become the best version of yourself, so it is a win-win. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. All you've got to do is visit betterhelp.com slash saving grace to get 10% off your first month. That is B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash saving grace for 10% off of your first month. Get yourself in the better frame of mind to better yourself using better help. Thank you for sponsoring today's podcast. But yeah, so that's how the Ellen story I want to talk about yeah. the speech that Katie did that night because on, obviously oh. on TV it looks really awkward, right? But is it that awkward in person when she outed... Okay, two things. Number yeah. one, do you think Molly and Zach actually made it official at that point? And number two, was that... Do you think... I don't know. Was that meant to come across like that, do you think? Um, my questions I've been harboring up through the season Kate honestly like I feel like Zach speaks to the boys so they have more insight yeah. hence why they'll be rooting for him yeah Molly. of course whereas Molly doesn't really speak to the girls mm. so we didn't get a lot of insight into their relationship yeah so like we would find out when everyone knows but we don't out. know so when Katie said it obviously like she told us a lot before that did she yeah she told the girls before oh, so then she yeah. said it again at the speech and it was like 
Well, damn. That's why it was messy because it was like, you're repeating yourself. I, um, but it made great TV. Yeah, everyone was shocked. Great TV. Because Molly literally, she had a conversation with Molly and Katie was like to Molly how, um, no, Molly was like to Katie how she didn't want it to be public. Right. And then Katie did. Right on the speech like, here you go. We were like, um, okay. <laughs> like, cheers. cheers, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, you know, when you're in Casa Amor, yeah. can you hear what's going on in the villa? What, in the main villa? Mm. No. At all? Only if you like scream really loud. Oh, you really? Can hear, but it actually is really far apart. Oh. Did you know at the time, because I remember you um, were like live from the beach hut um, on After Sun and everyone went fucking crazy when you went on the screen. I don't know if you could hear it or what. Did you know the reception you were getting or not? No. Not at all. There's all this perception that I knew I was like public's favourite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interpretation. Yeah. yeah. Quote, don't come for me. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so um, I only found out when it was literally like, you know, the, the couples. Right, yeah. Or, otherwise, I didn't oh, know. yeah, of course. Everyone would come in and say like, oh my gosh, we love you. But then all the girls would get the same energy. Like, they'll say, okay. I love Jess. I love Ella. Mm -hmm. I love, as in everyone would get the same energy. So I just thought like we were all loved. It was a good so, cast. Yeah. I was never singled out by production okay. saying, you're so amazing, sweet. You're doing well. Like, right. I was never, ever singled out. Only when I saw it was given on the walls, I was like, well, damn. <laughs> like, I try. Yeah. Is that when the, uh, was it uh, the unhumble thing? Is that what it was? The word? unhumble bombastic side eye uh, it was smug <laughs> that was it smug it that was, was it smug, smug. Yeah. do you think that got you more because you were in the villa or were you just like what the fuck um no because i me, get it either way <laughs> for me it was like when we got very favorite couple yeah obviously yeah i can see how it's a good thing but yeah. i just feel like the whole point of love island is yeah. to be favorite couple yeah of course. so that preemption was just like why would you do that? And we all know it's not going to get good energy. Like yeah. you can't announce good things to people that want the same thing. Yeah, it's true. And expect a good reaction. Yeah. So it was only after then you get the tunnel vex of like, oh, um, you're smart. But also, you're this. What you're the that. fuck are you meant to do? It's not your fault that I you know. voted favourite couple. Do you know what but I mean? I didn't like, even like celebrate it. There was not one conversation I had with someone <laughs> where like, I'm like, Woo! yay, like yeah. I'm favourite couple. Yeah. No, because it's it. just given evil eye. <laughs> like, yeah. what do you yeah, mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> we've still got journeys and weeks ahead of us. Yeah. How do you mean favourite couple? Yeah, and it changes all the time mm -hmm. in places like that as well, especially with the way things are filmed. Exactly. Was there any arguments that you haven't watched it, but that you don't think were shown? No. <laughs> <laughs> um no but i will say that obviously like some arguments mm. are cut out right um i guess for the I bigger narrative i don't understand why they do because i would rather i'm not gonna lie and respectfully obviously i don't i don't care about people in love i want to see the drama i want to see it oh, all kicking off okay so i think like you're referencing the whole what did i see on socials and um, me and katie and me and Katie had an argument off camera. D did you? In Casa. No, it wasn't, it wasn't like that. <laughs> I didn't even know that, but yeah. Oh, I, thought, I feel like it was that conversation. Oh, yeah, no, it, was like, it was like, I don't know if it got aired, but there was an argument. It wasn't even an argument. It was right. the night that we all had two drinks okay, and everyone yeah. was like lit. Mm. And um, it was a thing where Kat came to me and told me something. Yeah. That Ella said to Katie. Oh shit! Okay. And then obviously, I just went straight to Ella and asked her on the second what was drink. Said. Like, <laughs> what was that? And then Kat and Ella started arguing. And oh, then shit. whilst they're arguing, <laughs> yeah. Katie's like to me, Zach doesn't even like you. That's when uh, I oh she started saying, "Roll the God. tape." I forgot. Like, I fucking forgot. <laughs> you had a like a, a random. It was like a five minute thing with Zach, and then yeah. it was just over. <laughs> Fair play. Yeah. That but it wasn't like a big argument i think it was just more like um it's been brewing and like you've been waiting yeah katie be using other people's situations to talk so yeah that was her opportunity to talk about that you know when you came out the villa did yeah. you obviously because you hear about all the podcasts that everyone's done not just katie mm -hmm. did you ever get a bit like oh, fuck off about all the podcasts or did you not mind um I don't really look into it. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. She keeps herself. I'm in a real life. Respect, like, yeah, I, don't, I don't really it. look into it. I yeah. get the odd. Um, unless I hear my name, like, it's a swipe. Oh, cool. Yeah. Like, I mean, <laughs> Algorithm business. move. Like, yeah. <laughs> but no, like, nothing really stood out for me apart from maybe the getting ready, taking 
hours to get ready. Yeah. But it's like I wear a wig. Uh, I mean, babe, and I have to it's my face. absolutely fair. And she's an outfit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, let I'm me not live. I'm going to get ready. Girl. Let me live. But I think the arguments were do you know what my, the most awkward thing to watch was? Is when the producers obviously forced you and Ella <sighs> to just sit there to try and talk it out. And both of you were just like, yeah. It, it was <laughs> it was like amazing <laughs> <laughs> sit <laughs> like <laughs> um mm. and also if someone forces you to do a conversation when you're not ready as well like it's too soon it's not going to be resolved yet yeah i feel like naturally me and ella we bicker but it's yeah. the thing where we yeah, bicker make up bicker make up bicker make up mm -hmm. Cat like when me Ella and Cat was inside the villa. Mm -hmm. Cat's like the middle ground between me and Ella, right? So she's able to bridge me and Ella's personality because we're quite yeah. similar. Um, so obviously once Cat's left, we'll <laughs> you kind of like move it like cats and dogs. Yeah, but the gag is we weren't even at it. Mm. The whole selfish comment. It wasn't like um, I feel like it was over produced. No, but I think um, it makes sense though. Like when you argue with your friends, you argue over the littlest shit. Yeah. So obviously it, it, they're going to make it seem bigger than it is, but it was the most petty shit. But it makes sense because when you're well, living... First of all, it wasn't about the shower. It was. No. <laughs> she can shower when she wants to shower. It wasn't about the shower. Of course. Um, of course. But obviously I can see how it was perceived on TV, but like literally it wasn't that. Like yeah. it was so misconstrued. Well, as you guys said, you guys are like sisters. So of course. Yeah. So it was like, I feel like it was very like... There was too much focus on that. So you got to ask yeah, yourself. Why? It was a dry week. <laughs> what are you hiding? Yeah. I've got some questions from my Instagram okay. people. So are you ready? Yeah. Take a sip, darling. Hmm. Get ready. Right. Who was, um, okay, we'll say this in a nice way, but who was the worst to live with? It can be like messy or, you know. Um... I actually don't think I, anyone was the worst to live with. They were fine. I don't have a I don't have That's a worst fair. person to live with. That's fair. Did you mind living with Mitch? I loved Mitch. Do you love Mitch? Yeah. <laughs> you I love, love that. I literally love Mitch. I, like, he's so messy and honest, but like he's himself. Insane. I love Mitch. It was the it was the funniest thing to watch. He's, if you <laughs> ever watch back when he said to Abby and Ella, he was like yeah fuck Ella I'm all for you <laughs> walks away goes to Ella yeah fuck Abby I'm all for you and we were just watching it like I can't believe that's just happened Mitch is hilarious it was amazing to watch and he's not even like acting that's the yeah, thing that's I feel like it comes across that like he's acting and put no he's yeah literally like that uh, next question is when does the song drop mm, mm. when do you want it to drop I want it tomorrow Tomorrow, cool. Yeah. DM Thai. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll DM Thai. <laughs> yeah. I'll take it. Do you think that, do you feel like now you've come out of the villa that you feel like that's been overdone or not? The song, I feel yeah. like, well, for me, I don't feel like I've been going like ham on the song. No, not at all. No. But I feel like, other people have. <laughs> yeah. Well, it it went viral. Yeah. So when you were in there, it went so viral. Like everyone was using the sound because I, yeah. just no one expected that to come out of you and Ty. We were just like, what the fuck? <laughs> it was a good song. Like, do you know how it started? I was literally, you know, I always say it's given mad bitch. Mm -hmm. And like, we always sing and dance to like it. That, yeah. And Ty be rapping during lunch. I'm like, what, you want to jump on the track? Like, <laughs> And then yeah, he just wrote feature. it. I was just like, well, I need you to help me write mine because yeah. this is who I am. <laughs> yeah. And put it into lyrics. Yeah. And yeah, he Give us it. a song out of yeah. it. Stunning. I can't <laughs> wait for it to be honest. Um, oh. Oh. Okay. What is the most bizarre rule that is set by producers in the villa? Um, bizarre. Hmm. Yeah, that was a tricky one, but I thought bizarre. that was quite a good one. What's the craziest rule? I would, for me, it was having the mics on all the time. Yeah. Jarring all the time, as yeah. in, like, literally step out the shower, put your mics on. I'm oh, thinking, they're that on it, they're so on it. Do you have to keep the mics on while you're on the toilet? No, when you're going to the toilet, yeah, well, you can keep it on, but it's just got to be with you. You can take it off and put it on the side, yeah, it's got to be with you. When I because the, the toilets, when I went in the villa, there's like the toilets are all in little rooms that you don't see, but there's still cameras in them, yeah, babe. That's weird. They're really in your business. I don't know why the, there there are cameras in there. No, but they always say there's cameras in here just in case there's an accident and we need like, to pass like, out on the loo. Yeah, like I'd be scared to get my pussy out. I wouldn't know what to do. Eventually, like you just get used to it. Like, like twerking to the camera. Like, like that, Steve. 
Oh, was there any point where you wanted to leave the villa? Um, to be honest, after like, um, I feel like with the whole Matty situation, yeah. I opened up a lot to him mm -hmm. and obviously it wasn't an instant, mm, but like it was getting there. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Then obviously he got dumped and then there's Casa and then obviously production's telling you, talk to these boys, talk yeah. to these, and I'm not a like, I'm not a... Um, I don't chase man. Yeah. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? Shouldn't. Yeah. So for them to tell me, go and talk to this person, go and talk to, mind you, like I'm friends with the girls. Mm. So like. You'd rather just spend your time with them. Yeah. I'd rather just chill I with agree. them. I don't want to like be looking for man. Yeah. So it was like Casa. I was like, no, nah, this is too much. All this for man. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, just remove Put that on a t-shirt. Yeah. On t like it was just too much. Um, was the villa everything you expected it to be? Oh, do you know what? Yes and no. Yes. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like it, they, like when you go in there and yeah. live it, like it is what you expect it to be. Yeah, cool. But then when you deep it, like there's cameras everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. You're always being filmed and it yeah. just gets annoying sometimes. Do you think the, like not being able to have someone in control of your account affected you? Because I'm going to say compared to Winter Love Island, all of your followers and stuff have banged now. Yeah. Whereas when you guys were in it, they weren't. Mm. Did you think it affected you or not really? Um, before, I had 400 followers on Instagram. Oh, not a social media humble babe. beginning, darling. Yeah. So like, I don't really like, I love followers. Like, I'm happy to have them. Yeah. But I've, <laughs> yeah. I've never really like had, I didn't go in there with like that yeah, ideology. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I get you. Yeah. It's always good to have a little, uh, <laughs> why are people, so, everyone's always like, who smoked and vaped? People are so interested in it. But like, you can't give that away though. Zach and Katie. I, such a I, vapor. I see Katie as a vapor to be fair so, literally I'm ready early can I go for a vape <laughs> me like literally <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> was they the only people that smoked and vaped um, no like the boys did like snus you allowed some snus in there yeah, some of the boys did snus fair. Um, got to yeah got people to. did well, I would say Zach's the only one that actually smoked that's fair play. I would try like sometimes <laughs> just go out, out of boredom do you know what I mean yeah. I'm, I'm here for two months but then they'll be like no no. Yeah, they can make me try no. any, anything after the sixth week and I'll be like, cool. You're not allowed. If you don't declare it, you're not allowed any of that. You can't just add it on. Really? No. Oh, no, because I'd go in and be like, I'm going to give up. And then halfway through, like, no, I need No, that. if you didn't declare it, you are not allowed. God forbid. As in, like, no. I can never They're so strict. Um, right, that's it. Did you get to keep anything from the villa? Um, well, I have stuff from the villa. I don't know if I'm allowed to keep it. But <laughs> 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 you just took that home. Um, yeah, if you, like Where? I got a hill or two, but um, you are allowed to go shopping. <laughs> yeah. Like you know, there's loads of boots stuff. Yeah. So you are allowed at the end to like pick what you want. Oh, I fucking would. And if you're leaving, like you can pick. Did you ever hate any of the outfits you were put in? Hate. Okay, maybe hate was a strong word. Oh my god! Like, yes. Oh, the final. Oh my! I, I heard like you didn't like your makeup. Like, like, babe, <laughs> literally black and red. But could you not, were you not allowed to do it yourself at the final? You had to have someone do it for you? Um, I feel like for me, it boils down to just being rude. Like, you know, everyone's yeah, sitting there, yeah. getting their makeup get done, you. you're there with your bag, like, do 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 <laughs> And then it's yeah. like, who's this girl I think she is? So mm -hmm. it's kind of like, you just got to ride the wave. Yeah. And, like, hold it. Listen, I've, <laughs> I've learned from experiences. I used to, I've had like five makeup artists before that did my makeup and I was too scared to say it looks like shit. Yeah. So I'd do shoots and be like, I've got to share this. <laughs> I've got to share this and say I love it. But when you find the right, I mean, you do your makeup amazingly, Lisa. So you don't oh, need fucking. Thank you. It. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> um, how do you feel about Locken's limited screen time? Because I feel like he wasn't shown wasn't as he? him. Oh, yeah. I feel like, the gist I've got from other people, mm. everyone thinks that Lockin's just like nice guy. Yeah. And like push over and says what I want. Oh, nice. <laughs> but it's like, he is the nice guy, but yeah. he's definitely not a pushover. Like, no. He's not a pussy. He loves you a spreadsheet. I mean? Do you know what I mean? He's, so, he's very put together. Yeah. Like, he's he's just like a man's man. You know what I mean? Yeah. I hate that. That doesn't come across. Like, you don't have to be overly. Yeah. Uh, to be a man. Are you guys living with each other now? No, bitch. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so no, right? We're not living, gal, no. We're not them kind of people. But Slow that's and good because wins the race. I feel like if well, you just go straight into it, it will be too much. You mm -hmm. can't accustom to your, your new life and shit and also be dealing with living with someone on the outside too. 
Yeah, I just feel like for me, it's not by force. Yeah. Like, I don't need to move him. Like, it's not that deep. It's been, I get it when you're in there, times enhanced. Yeah, but, but it's damn. not real life. Like, do you know what I mean? That's too much <laughs> for me personally. Damn. Like, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> that is so funny. But eventually, funny. yeah. Um, did you sneak anything in that you weren't allowed? No. Like, they're really strict. I wasn't allowed to bring a hot comb in. What? Yeah, everything's got to get checked. Like, let's see the Dyson right. bloody air wrap. It's so annoying. That's the Dyson. Oh my god. Also, like, no. Let in the hot comb. The hot comb. Do you know what I mean? But like, why would you not? <laughs> why would you not no, do they that? They did. They did. Like, Cat's one got approved. But when Cat was leaving, obviously I know it was sad uh, and that. But I was like, please, that hot comb. I also like, <laughs> in that. She said, no, babe, I've got to do after sun. <laughs> but then they brought I me in the hot comb. There. Thank God. Yeah, they brought me in the hot comb. Apparently you knew that Molly was back because you guys got given her curlers or something <laughs> by accident. Oh, we were all getting ready in Casa, and then I was using GHD black curlers. I'm thinking I've used this before. Yeah. And I was but like, where? I was, like, <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking, damn, like Molly. Yeah. Like, yeah. Someone stole her curtains. <laughs> we got a thief. But someone ass. did say that. Oh, I think Molly's back, but I weren't deep in it. Oh, really? But I was so thinking, why would she resurrect? So, were you shocked when you saw her again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was like, bitch, <laughs> girl. Like, I was thinking, damn, this is gonna be tea. Oh, a hundred percent. Was she yeah. fine with you though after that? Because obviously, you and Zach had that. Thing. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get any vibes from Molly. Good. Like, mm -mm. we love that. <laughs> someone said it's giving bad bitch. People love it's giving back did you know that was going to be a thing or you just say it well you know i just be saying shit oh, like i, I just don't know i'm just me yeah i'm just being me you know what i mean the day. i loved it it was like um it's like a tick like we all constantly say it oh thanks no but like it'll be like your granddad's dead they'll be like it's giving bad bitch <laughs> and they're like it's not the time grace is it let's be real you don't have to answer this one who was the most different off camera but you don't have to answer you that. know who fair <laughs> Like, <laughs> that. Someone said, has, did anyone pleasure themselves in the villa? Well, have sex in the villa. Well, I think I have a wank. Oh, I don't know. Oh, actually, both questions. Does anyone have a wank? I don't know if anyone had a wank. Uh, yeah, I suppose, why would you know that? Like, yeah, why yeah. would I know On that? On top of the sheets, like one minute, That's guys. like a bit weird. Who had sex? <laughs> Everyone. Me and Lockin definitely did not have sex. But thank you for clearing that up. I like, we didn't do nothing. I can't, no, but I couldn't imagine you anyway in that villa having sex, I'll be honest. Yeah, no. In the hideaway, do people have sex? I don't know, because all the girls will come up from the hideaway like, no, we did nothing. But obviously, like, you hear things. Now I'm sorry. Someone yeah. puts me in that room. It's on. Yeah. Yeah. Surely. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> It's got to think why are people so attached. Uh, uh, now, do you know what that makes sense? Nah. That's answered it all for me. Um, are you happy with the way you came across on Love? I know you haven't watched it, but do you feel happy in, in yourself how you came across on Love Island? Um, yeah, mm -hmm. I feel like apart from the Ella argument, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Were you shocked when you like? What was your reaction when you finally got your phone back? Um, I just wanted to call my mum. Humble queen. I'd be straight on Instagram. No. Oh, bro, how many have got? Blue tick? <laughs> yeah. I love that. I didn't have a blue tick until like probably a week after. Oh, yeah. Lock and still ain't got his. Free lock and. Like, honestly, free my man. <laughs> give, <laughs> give that man a tick, please. <laughs> Any advice for future Love Islanders? Um, be yourself. And that honestly, yeah. be yourself. No one's going to be you, so. <laughs> you do it well. Inky. Yeah. <laughs> um, da -da -da. Some of these are vile. Did they force you to get in the pool at any point? Oh. <laughs> that pool. Like when I say my cameras were stinking. Really? Okay, like, babe, because I got I wear wigs and they're in cameras oh, underneath it. Okay. So when I'm jumping in that pool, like think about the wigs, think about the camera. Did you get think, it wet? How else? I oh, because you of course you jump in it. I'd be yeah, getting step by step, no. maybe I'd be thinking, no, nah, that's I like I'd tell them to go fuck themselves. No, it came to a point where I was, I was just like actually kinda like in the pool. You've got a wig business. Yeah. Are you gonna carry that on now? You're out. Yeah. As you should. Do it while your platform's rife and stuff. Cause people people that was people loved your fucking hair. Oh it would you. always be it would just always look amazing. No hair out of place. Thank you, babe. Fuck you, because no. even, <laughs> even on a good day, I've got split ends, flyaways flying about. Thank you. Come to see. Someone said, what oil do you use on your legs? We have to know. Oh, Vaseline. Vaseline, but Easy you know the oil done. one? Oh, yeah, yeah. I cream and then oil on top. You were shining, girl. Yeah. <laughs> um, so obviously you came out the villa and you yeah. had loads more followers than yeah. you started off with. How are you finding it now you're out? 
for me, honestly, like nothing's changed. Yeah. <laughs> I still do the same shit, yeah. like, go through Camden, see people, but the yeah. is, like, I feel like when I see people, they're just like, oh, hey, Whitney, like, hey, babe, like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, it's just, like, cool vibe. Yeah, no one's screaming in your face. No, it's not, it's obviously, like, you get people that come up to you, like, excited, but I don't yeah. see it as, like, a fan girl. I just see it as, oh, my good sis, what are you saying? Yeah. Do you I mean? That's why because you made me laugh on your Instagram, you were like... Yeah, guys, sorry, I will post, but I just don't really do it. Like, I just don't, I know you want to see shit, but I just don't do this. It's so I was funny. Like, fair. People are like angry at you. Like, I post know. Your fucking story. I have like, one auntie in my DM. She's like, Whitney, the way we fought for you, please post. Like, she's like, please. Oh, my auntie, I'm going to post. Twitter was on your side the whole time. They fucking loved it. And what is Lachan like? Because you see him a lot. Oh, yeah, I do see Lachan a lot. Tell me. I don't live with him, but I see him a lot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Actually, no, I actually stay at his mum's house but quite a bit as well. Um, yeah, we have good sleepovers. Like, he's very family orientated. Yeah, which is nice. Very family orientated. Yep. Um, he's funny. Mm -hmm. He's a nice guy. Like, he actually is yeah. the nice guy. Yeah. Very corporate. Love that. Like, we're so opposite but the same. It's he so loves funny. spreadsheets. Oh, loves a spreadsheet. <laughs> like, when we're planning, it's like spreadsheet. I love that. I'm just like, why? You, you don't have to do shit, though. I know. He's planning a day out and he's got an itinerary. <laughs> and I respect it. I respect no, he's it. He's just all. so corporate. So, so corporate. Like, so corporate. Yeah. It's and we so love funny. That. So, for him, like, the transition between corporate to, like, what is it? I wouldn't say influence in life, but, but it's that kind of like yeah. spirited kind of life. Very yeah, different. it's very different. Have you had any like, what's your funniest memory coming out of the villa now? It's just the people <laughs> that come up to you, like you're yeah. walking past and then you just start that. <laughs> like, <it's laughs> yeah. so like, <laughs> Later, I'm like, hey, babe. <laughs> it's so start funny. Start all the crowds. Yeah, no, it's just so funny people's reactions. Of it's course. It's hilarious. And always like, you look smaller in real life. You're not tall. Like, Do you think though? I don't know. I think, I don't I'm five foot five. I don't know. Are you? You come across taller. What shoes are you wearing? New Balance. I think you came across taller, I'll be honest. Yeah, that's what everyone Which says to me. Like, you're tiny. Oh. <laughs> I'm literally like, babe, I'm five at five. I mean, you're possibly smaller. Though. I love it. <laughs> yeah. like, do you know what I mean? No, I have definitely seen smaller. <laughs> well, I damn. think it's a power move. <laughs> Don't you worry. <laughs> I love that. But I feel like it's so nice that you can get on with his parents too. Because I think, oh, you know, the worst so part sweet. is meeting someone's parents. Mm -hmm. That's horror. No, they're very inclusive. Were you shitting yourself though? No, they're really nice people. Like before, inside the villa, Lockham was obviously like very, very nice. Mm -hmm. But I was just like, mm, you're sus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's got to be you know something. I mean? so when I met his parents, like, you know, you can understand because mm -hmm. like I can see where you got that from. Yeah. They were and they so are sweet. really nice people. When they came in, I was like, yeah, they're very. Really, me and his mom are so similar in personality. Your family was really nice too, and you, you you both have great families. Yeah, I have to say they were both fucking great. Yeah, I'm a big myself up on that. We As do, you should. Yeah, we really yeah. Do have good families. <laughs> yeah. Like, As you lit. should. Have they met a lot? Both your families? No, not really. I feel like I've I've Lockin comes to mind, or I'll stay at Lockin's. Yeah, like his mum's because obviously like he lives by himself with his friends, right. and he also goes back home. Okay, as well. So like. It's just like... Oh, he lived with his friends? Yeah. What's he, that? Yeah. What did your friends think when you came out? Or did they... My were friends. They just like... I mean, they were shocked. When I went on to Love Island, I only told my mum. No, you really kept that a secret. Like, even so my sister, my sister was like, where are you packing to go to? I'm literally like, why well, don't know? Yeah. And then she's like... <laughs> Abifa. Literally, next thing to know, oh, when you're going to Jamaica with a sugar dad, I'm literally like, yeah, and what that's about it? it? Yeah. Like, <laughs> deal with it. Yeah. That, that's fucking mental that your sister didn't even know. No. Fair fucking play. Yeah. If that's me, I'd be like, my whole neighbourhood, I'd be like, guys. Yeah, I know. Because Jeff was literally like, I didn't really tell how like, there's so much people, I didn't really tell so much people. And then I'm like, really, how many people did you tell? She was like, like 10 of my best friends. 184, I'm right? Like, 10 best friends. Well, damn, just. I just want my mum. Mum's my best friend, so like evil eyes, girl. Like unless something's happened, I'm not. Should never put say my it. I'm not that girl. Hot topic. Let's go. Maya Jama. Yeah, Maya Jama. Tell me everyone's reactions to Maya Jama. Maya Jama's sexy. She's so. Funny. She's very sexy. If I get reincarnated, let it be as her. Yeah. Seriously. I, you know, I see that in your story. On every. Yeah, I, see that I on your wish. Story. I wish. What did uh, the boys think of her in the villa? Everyone fancied Maya Jama. Did they think they had a chance of her? Obviously not. Like. 
Come on, guys. We're all here together on the island. Well, how you mean? Do you know what? But she's like, back with Stormzy, though. I love that. And I'm I not fucking gonna love lie. that. Fangirl. I love that situation. I'm like, sad because she definitely wanted to keep that private, but I'm yeah, really happy I saw her. No, I'm so happy. I just love that duo. Like, literally, yeah, me and Lachlan watched them. We're like, he be watching it, like, listening to lessons and <laughs> watching it. I'm thinking, like, look at him, get a grip. <laughs> he's got a spreadsheet out yeah. with the lyrics like so he said this and no, she did he that he really loves that I love it I feel oh. like everyone loves it That's oh 100% like a, you know, we wouldn't to see back together and was she just as nice like when she'd come into the villa oh my gosh yeah we would have scenes together and she's just like laughing at me I'm like why are you laughing to this <laughs> yeah. like we couldn't do no, some scenes together it was so <laughs> funny the producers oh. would be like stop laughing I'm like it's her <laughs> like <Yeah>. blame <laughs> the host <laughs> oh I love that because she is just as nice in person yeah no she really is love like she'll mind. be coming in and the boys would be sat there watching her do her take something she like it makes me die but she'd come in and be like yeah you're going home but because it's from my jam I'll take it but yeah yeah, <laughs> you're like, you're yeah. absolutely right yeah, yeah. <laughs> that wouldn't be so what are your plans now for the future um my plans for the future are you're not gonna do a fast fashion deal are you no appreciate that <laughs> <laughs> I do respectfully yeah yeah respectfully. yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> that's not my vibe like, yeah. I'm more like um I would only ever do something that I actually want to do and yeah. like care for and mm -hmm. can really relate to yeah I'm not gonna do something for a quick coin like well we've, we've got win that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so like, that's that. just not my my vibe mm -hmm. if I ever like promote anything or do something it's only because I actually you I'm like, like yeah it. yeah yeah it's not that deep so future do something that you only like. Yeah. Something that's, that's going to be... Love that. Yeah. Maybe I want something... I don't know what I want. I want a shot glass that says it's giving bad B. I want shot glasses of a that shot on. glass. Mm. But the gag is like drink... I do like drinking, but that's, yeah. I'm not a party girl. So I, I would love never that do that. That's okay. the thing. Maybe just for me. <laughs> yeah, maybe we can get you one. Just maybe get me one. I'm not a party girl. I'm a homebody. Home I'm a homebody. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm actually a homebody. I just look the part, but it's really fake. I love that. Like, yeah, but clubbing shit. Oh, so shit. I don't know how you went to tape. Oh, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> how you pulled yourself out Yeah, there. when you ain't been out in a minute, it was oh, like yeah. a good one to see everyone. You'd have gone anywhere. Do you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> like, yeah. anywhere. Was that night messy or not really? No, Lachlan took me out of the club early. I was That's literally like bopping, but then he was like, cab outside, let's go. I'm like, well, damn. My <laughs> man, my gone. man, my man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming, yeah. like. What are your feelings on the reunion? But do you know what? When I watch mm. reunions, I think love and hip hop. Drama. I think drama, scandals. Fights. Like, let's talk about yeah. it. But the reunion was very much like censored. Mm -hmm. And it's like, that's not what the people want. That's not what I wanted. The only person that like, gave it for me was Abby. Oh yeah, she even Abby that. said that. I was like, "Well, damn, you go, <laughs> Abby." Yeah, crazy cracker. She, she did is. it. She did like, that. But do you know what I mean? It yeah. was very like, I don't know. Maybe because it's on that platform, they mm -hmm. can't take it there. Yeah. But it was very censored. I don't feel like anyone said what they were supposed to say. Were you not allowed to? Or was it just more people were a bit like cautiously treading? Um, I feel like it's a bit of both mm -hmm. because you are like given like these are your pre questions beforehand. Yeah. Oh, you are so you can yeah. think of an answer. Yeah, you can think of your answer. One of my okay. questions got removed. Really? What was it? Yeah, it was like, how do you feel about um Jess and Sammy winning? But then they removed they it. Remo Why would they remove it? Do you think? Ask the people. Yeah, no. Like, <laughs> <true. laughs> what do you think about Sammy and Jess winning? Jess is my good sis. Yeah, and I honestly feel like. Being in there, I wanted Jess to win. Mm -hmm. But I feel like Jess, like, she deserved that. But like I said before, Jess carried Sammy. And yes. that's just what it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Jess is a great girl. She could have won on her own. Like, I saw yeah. Jess winning. Uh -huh, I always yeah. said that to her. I always saw Jess winning. She has a lovely personality. Yeah. And she also, I feel like she got a lot of stick, like, especially from, I think it was Sammy or something, when he was like, she's just not really my type of girl. Jess is a Fucking Jess is an it girl. sensational. She's an it girl. I would want to stand next to her because I'd yeah. feel like shit. She is that girl. Do you know yeah, what I she mean? Is that girl. So fair play to her. Yeah. I love it. I'm not gonna make you name names. How many couples do you think will stay together out of your season? I actually Pop feel like this year, obviously. Um I feel like everyone in the finals will stay together. Mm hmm um me and Lockham obviously so I was trying I was remembering who's in the finals yeah oh, so me and Lockham yeah. will definitely stay together of course Ellen and Ty will stay together of course Jess and Sammy I feel like they'll stay together yeah. um 
Molly and Zach, I feel like we'll stay together. You do? Yeah. You haven't seen the like, news, darling. I know everyone's <laughs> actually shocked about my reaction. Whenever I say that, I'm like, no, I feel like they will stay together. Well, I think if you come back as well from leaving, you've got to, you've got to make it work, let's be real. And you come back mm. together. So I do agree. I think they're similar. No, I don't feel like they're that similar. But I feel like if I was a guy, yeah. if I was Zach, and mm -hmm. obviously like... Zach's like from ends and whatnot. And then Molly's got that picture perfect family. Yeah. So if I was a guy, I would see that and like aspire to have that. Wife. So yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So I could understand why he would stay with that. Like, cause okay, it's yeah. right. The blueprint's there. Yeah. So it's very much like, just like feed into it. I so I would hope that they stay together. Cause I feel like Molly is good for Zach. Great answer. Yeah. Do you think Mitch and Ella are legit? <laughs> <laughs> Say no more. No words. Right. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Um, I don't feel like they'll stay together. Like, no. No. Like, yeah. No. Respectfully. Yeah. No. I, I, yeah, I do agree. But I feel bad because Ella seems so sweet. She's just like a little, I don't know. Just yeah, Ella's, Ella's but honest, my honest opinion, like yeah. I'm going to have to agree with Abby on this. I feel mm. like Mitch and Abby was more compatible than Ella I do see that mm -hmm. I do see that and I th but do you th um, do you think Abby was done dirty with that whole thing or what the, the crazy whole Mitch thing? thing yeah um she told her to chill out at one point you were like enough no Abby was genuinely like losing it but <laughs> <laughs> but I feel yeah. like you need to like look at the whys it's easy to call a girl crazy but, but why does she feel why? that way I will always say Max is crazy but it's like why yeah. Why is she crazy? Do you think Ella came in for Ty? Yeah, Ella, apparently her, her type's light, isn't it? As in Ella B? Yeah, Ella B. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's why everyone was like... I don't know why, I just never saw that. Yeah, like... When I see yeah. her, I'd picture her with a really Essexy man, like Sammy. I'd, pick, I'd put them two like together. Essex guys. Oh, okay. But, I don't know, we always said that um, Mitch and Ty are very different people. Uh, yes. So it's like one extreme to another. A hundred percent. Uh, like what I mean yeah do you think anyone came in with a game plan um yeah I feel like a lot of people came in with a game plan oh you do like, like a lot of people yeah babe yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like when you go on Love Island like it's very rare that people come in with pure intention I mean you know when you go on Love Island the chances are when you come out yeah you're going to get some deals and you're probably going to mm -hmm. get some followers so you're probably it's a good base yeah it's literally survival of the fittest yeah 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 do you think there were people oh actually how did you feel about the reaction when you voted out KD and was it Uzi yeah uh, when you came back into the villa because everyone was really pissed off with you I feel like well on the flip side mm -hmm. I feel like Mitch <laughs> is a big character yeah yeah so I would never ever look at my decision and be like oh my god I made the wrong decision because yeah. I'm not gonna lie live in that house that without Mitch in, yeah babe mm. I even I would have suffered yeah <laughs> Mitch yeah. is so funny and mm. I feel like Every single person that's left the villa, it's been like, okay, cool. Yeah. Bye. The next day, obviously we're sad for like one hour, but then, then we're cooking. <laughs> yeah. And then the next day, like we forget because yeah. you have to do different things. Mm -hmm. But Mitch is the only person that left the villa that everyone like Would cried have, for. Yeah. And it was a detrimental like impact. You know? Even though he's messy and crazy. He's still but TV. He, uh, it's not even that. He's a great person to live mm. with. He's literally you, that guy. My next question is, do you think Katie had a boyfriend when she went in? I heard that. Yeah. Do you think that was true? Well, she was wearing his bracelet, I heard. <laughs> yeah, valid. Okay. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like, I let me said that. Don't quote me. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. But like, yeah. Um, I I personally didn't hear it from her mouth. Well, yeah. He, um, can I say the person? Ella B would say it. Right, like, right. It, by my decision wasn't based off of that no yeah of course like, but yeah and then when i come out and i heard it again i was mm -hmm. like oh well damn because that was going viral that and did she get she got paid to go in um well i feel like if you know katie katie's about her coin yeah, she i don't feel like katie's gonna come back 10 years later to yeah get her coin oh and you know you can ask for money too if they want yeah. someone back ITV got coin. pay me. Yeah, of course like, I do. Come on. <laughs> Biggest show around on. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So I feel like, yeah, like I feel like KD was sent in on a mission. Yeah. A mission. She completed pay. that. She completed that. Yeah. <laughs> when she parred Zach for a kiss, I thought she's completed it. She's really? Completed that. that was the wildest thing I've I feel like KD didn't do what she hoped to do mm. when she came in. Well, like stir the pot a lot. No, mm. I feel like if KD would have come in a different series, she would have really like had her 
KD season. Yeah. Like, we dominated. Mm -hmm. I feel like this cast was so strong. Yeah, she it couldn't was, really. Oh, no. It's too intimidating to come in. Yeah. Because you were close as mm -hmm. well. It's too intimidating. She was, yeah, no. Yeah, I agree. I wouldn't have done it either. Yeah. So my last question to every guest that I have on is what advice would you give to save Grace? Um... Does that work? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what advice I'll give you. I feel like you're doing pretty well. I feel like I need to ask you. What advice would you give me? Get the fucking bag, but don't get it the easy way. Yeah. And get your business fucking pumping while, right. while you're fresh meat, darling. Do you know what I mean? Hey, I'm going to look into listen to the girl of the house yeah. in the new Porsche. And just give me hair tips. Be <laughs> <laughs> Congrats. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it um, and yeah I think you're smashing it and you're doing it unlike any other Love Islander that's come off which I think is a positive for you so you'll go far and I'm glad because we can spend more time together yeah we will spend some a, a few drinks darling do you want yeah, me anyway stuff. thanks for coming on yeah appreciate no, it welcome uh, if you're watching give it a like and subscribe and if you've been listening give it a follow and a five star review so bye bye <laughs> bye <laughs>